How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt and welcome back for more Pokemon Sun! In the last episode we adventured down Route 8 and almost got to Mallow's Trial here at Lush Jungle. In this episode, that's what we gonna get doing! Gonna get doing? Gonna start doing? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, we're back here at Route 5, uh, Lush Jungle designated trial site for the Island Challenge. Now, I believe there are some things to off-screen down here if you so desire. Ooh, there are actually a couple items down here. and. Some Pokemon that run out on you. I don't want to spend a lot of time on Route 5, though, fighting the Pokemon that run out of you. Even though we've got Diglett with his little hair, and now with the addition of the Steel-type. I'm not exactly sure where that Steel-type, uh, I don't, does he have metallic hair? Or is his nose made of steel, or is, like, the gra- I don't know why Diglett is a Steel-type now. Maybe it's because when he's fully evolved, he's got that, like, metal rockin' hair. I'll probably come back to Route 5 and all that, but right now I want to go into Lush Jungle because I cannot wait to see Mallow because I am in love. She's beautiful. Oh, Mallow. It's been so long. Hello, woman of my dreams with green hair. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no problem. Welcome to Lush Jungle. The trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it was- I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. Oh, man. She knew as soon as she saw me, much like I knew as soon as I saw her. Could help me or no, I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You are the you're the one who got the sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? You're so totally ready for this. Ah, uh, the breath of the jungle. I can just tell what today's special should be. Uh, sounds great, Mallow. Let's uh hang out in the jungle, shall we? Yep, it's gotta be my personal specialty. The Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find four ingredients for me. I need a mango a mago berry, a tiny mushroom, a revival herb, and a miracle seed. Here you go, and she gives us a forge bag to go explore around the jungle and find those ingredients for her. Uh, so that sounds pretty good. If you put the trial ingredients in your own bag, they'd, be, they'd get mixed up with your stuff, right? Good point. Uh, you're gonna rely on Stoutland's help. Yes, because Stoutland can find, uh, hidden items. There are four things you need to get from me in order to create- Yes, I know. I know, Mallow. You're lovely, but you don't need to repeat it. She's just awesome, man. The hair and the- and the, uh... The, the flowery sort of, uh, what, I don't know what you call that. The Coachella flowers all I, is what I um, always think of. But anyway, there's gonna be a thingy. I think there's a thingy over here. Uh, which do you need? Uh, tiny mushrooms. And uh, we get, uh, oh yeah, and I think if we actually do, yeah, I was gonna say, I think if we went for the big mushroom anyway, he would attack. But the big mushroom attacked us, and it just so happens to be, I don't think it's actually a Parasect in Moon. I believe it's a Shenotic in, Paras in uh, Pokemon Moon, which is interesting. And I'm gonna need to swap because this thing's bugged. And you're weak to that now, Melee. You gotta watch out. One thing I do love about, uh, let's actually send, no, I, I do want Hedge out. I was gonna say, let's send Rio out, but I want Hedge because he's almost 25 and he's almost ready to evolve into maximum awesomeness. Or she, I should say. Cross Poison, that would have done nothing to me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use our Rock type move. And, uh, we'll see how that goes. Good job, Hedge. Keep it up, puppy. Man, Parasect's pretty tanky, yeah, but, um, pretty sure, oh. That did more than I expected. I was like, oh god, here it comes. Pretty sure in Moon, it's a- uh, you're fighting a Shinotic though, or maybe not yet, or something, I don't know. But in any case, Hedge- nice, got a lot of XP for beating that guy down, which is wonderful. And, uh, yeah, Melee's getting some XP, and nice, Eevee growing to level 11, and level 12. Eevee's firing up there on the evolutionary charts, or the level charts. And, uh, yeah, there's- oh, I found it, Mallow. Ooh, that tiny mushroom, that's great. There's a secret to why so many people would, uh, why they're so popular with some people. You have to try one to find out what it is. I don't know if I want to just try shrooms with you, uh, Mallow. I mean, I like you, but I don't know about doing drugs with that. That's, that's a lot. I mean, we barely know each other. I mean, come on now. Uh, now I'm gonna, I might spend a little bit of time, uh, wandering around this place. Uh, because it is a, was there something, I was gonna say, was there something in there? It is a, uh, pretty important place, especially this room right here. So I wonder what, uh, wild Pokemon, if any, we can find in, uh, Lush Jungle, but we'll probably... Maybe we can't actually find... Will you pull it up? Yes, maybe we can't actually find, uh, any wild Pokemon during the trial, uh, aside from Pokemon leaping out of the grass to attack. Well, maybe this is good, and if you don't, and if I'm being cryptic enough, I don't know, maybe, maybe you figured out my game, and Fo- Fomantis is the... God dang, everything in this game is so dang cute. Like, there is not a not cute Pokemon in, uh in the Alola Like, all, all of them are awesome, and they're all so memorable, and I feel like that hasn't happened in such a long time, uh, when you're looking at, like, Pokemon generations. And nice, we beat the Fomantis. Fomantis is cute, dude. I like Fomantis. Really awesome. I was thinking about, oh man, 
It's bitter even uh, it's bitter bite is even a shock to Pokemon, but that's what will add depth to the flavor. Uh, great. I was thinking about using a Fomantis and Lorantis on my team at one point, but I think that this one might be good. I don't know. I'm still I'm almost starting to wonder, but uh, wonder if I'm being cryptic enough if everybody understands what it is I'm trying to do. But anyway, you want to come over here, and uh, we can start looking for those other two items for my girl. Oh wait, wait. Oh oh, there's pi there's a picture over here. Firing up the Poke Finder. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, nice, we got a little Paris showing his butt. Paris, get over here. Turn around, Paris, we can't zoom in yet because we don't have... He's just walking away! Is there anybody else? Turn around, Paris! Turn around, Slave OHM! That's the shot I want. I want a shot of him. Face in the camera. Uh, that looks pretty good. He's, like, in action. I don't know if we'll get lots of thumbs up for this, but it should be fine. Uh, it should be enough thumbs up for the for the... Poke finder people, not that one. That that last one's pretty. Uh, uh, yeah, the last one's pretty good. I was gonna say I feel like the angle on the third, the last one's a little better, but he's a little closer in this one. Let's see what the comments say. Looks so tropical. Somebody said, "Nice." And we got a new. Hey, and we go to version two, which is exciting. Now we can zoom in whenever we see spots, which is great. Uh, we can uh, hit up and down on the D-pad, and we'll be able to zoom in on things, which is amazing. Probably should have saved that to my SD card, because I know I was I did that in the last one, but whatever. Um, yeah, coming over here, we can jump by a thing in a tree, which is terrifying. Well, not not terrifying, I guess I should say, because it's a Fomantis, and it's so cute, man. It's so gosh darn cute. Like, oh my goodness, it's cute. I love, I love Fomantis. It's so a Dang adorable. And he's just like sitting there and he's just a little flowery. He's got praying mantis arms and just like, hey, what's up? I'm Fomantis. Okay, I'm dead now. I feel bad every time. I feel bad about killing those Fomantis every time. Every single freaking time. I don't even remember what the other things I was supposed to get. Like a, a Magoo berry or something. Uh, we found honey. That's not what I want. Uh, th let's say there's got to be a thing over here. There's a berry and a, a Mago berry. I was going to say a Magoo berry just doesn't sound right. And I do know where the last one is. So we're good. We're all good. Um, it just takes a, just one ingredient left, it just takes a little bit for me to figure out where that is. And there's also an item, it looks like, or a TM or something over there, so let's go ahead and get that. I like Lush Jungle, man. I'm not a big, uh, I, I tend to not be a big fan of jungle areas or, uh, or foresty areas in games because I feel like they're done a lot, but there's something about Lush Jungle, man, that really, uh, really kind of captures that, which is awesome. What does this sign say? Mallow special tip. Revival herbs are shorter than, yeah, yeah, great. Mallow really likes those cooking tips, which are good. Uh, and yeah, so we can crawl through this tree trunk. And coming over here, and we get, nice, TM86 Grass Knot. That's going to be good. Uh, it will do more damage depending on how heavy the Pokemon is. So yeah, I don't think we can actually encounter any wild Pokemon uh, around this area. But that's okay, because it is time for us to go. Actually, do you, you might actually be able to access it from up here. I don't actually remember how to get over there. I think, oh no, it's not from over here. Well, that rock, as you can see, is the Moss Rock. Uh, if you since Gen Four, there have been there's been a Moss Rock. Oh, nice, an X Defense over here. There's been a Moss Rock and a Ice Rock in every single game since. This is the way we need to go. Um, there's been one of those rocks every uh, in every game since for the evolution of very specific Pokemon. But anyway, we need to get back on our Tauros. You throw our line letting us talk very much. Oh, sorry, uh, Beans, you know, I'm I'm busy narrating, you know, being a Let's Player and all that. Oh, trust me, I know all about it. We get a Miracle Seed over here from the Forge Bag, which is great. I know all about Let's Play and stuff. Beans play, the, 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 I, it keeps me busy in between episodes, you know. I record them right from my Pokeball. I don't believe you. Miracle Seeds are bursting with nutrition. They are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Oh, looks like you got everything. It's time for us to start cooking. In perhaps the weirdest scene in all of Pokemon history. I'm not even kidding, I almost just gotta let this play out. This is the weirdest, most like, innuen innuendoist, is that a word? There's so much, so much sexual innuendo that I'm not gonna comment on and I'll just let your mind speak for itself because this is wild. Great, now that I've got all the ingredients, I mean, I love Mallow, but like, this is insane. If you don't know what I mean, Oh my god, okay, I'll just- I'll just let it happen. Sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Ah, Kiawe and Lana are here. What's up, everybody? I brought a thick club and a rare bone. Okay, he brought his rare- rare bone. Alright. 
great. Uh, she brought fresh water and, a, and the usual Rocky helmet. Okay, thanks, Kiawe. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next. Oh, uh, we're gonna lure the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Okay. I'm not ready for this, Mallow. This is so soon. Let's me see what you've got for me. Okay, you got a berry, mushroom, the revival herb, miracle seed. Okay, here comes the weirdness as we make the Mallow special. Oh god, why is he why is he talking right now? Freaking Rodom's I'm ready to start cooking. Rodom just like started talking anyway. Hi Mallow. This is a nice Okay, Lana, flip that Rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. Here you are. Then go in the Mago Berry, the Tiny Mushroom, the Revival Herb, and the Miracle Seed. Let's use the Thick Club and that Rare Bone for a minute. Here you are. Okay. Alright. Ready for weirdness? Grab the Thick Club and the Rare Bone and pound it all to a pulp. Press A to pound the ingredients. Uh. Uh. Why does it pan down like that? Okay. Crush it. Okay. Uh. Grind it. Okay. Working on it. This is uncomfortable for me. Turn it turn it to goo mellow. Oh What is that? No, this is not okay. Oh That is the weirdest It's probably not meant to be that but like that is so weird. That is just so freaking weird and I love you mellow, but holy crap. Okay. We're about to die from an evil demon. It's a Lurantis! The totem Pokemon, Lurantis, the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle has appeared. Oh yeah, it's time to do another totem battle, guys. Though this one should be considerably easier for us because we're pretty good against grass type Pokemon. Uh, so that's good. We have coverage against that, which is nice. Uh, the aura flared to life. Its speed rose sharply. All right, Melee, let's see what you're made of. See what you can do against a totem Pokemon that isn't the wishy-washy. Although I probably am just gonna switch to beans and not even waste my time about it. Yeah, man, just switch to Beans. Beans makes everything better. Yep. Go ahead. Sorry, Beans. I'm just a little scarred from uh, whatever just happened back there. Solar Blade? Oh, yeah. That's a new... Uh, what is that? The physical move? Oh, right. What was that? Oh, that's boss. That sucked. What do you mean it was boss? It looked cool. And the Rance is calling his ally Pokemon. Which is probably going to be a Fomantis. Oh, nope. It's a Trumbeak. What the heck? I'm real! Rio, that's not you. You realize that isn't you. Ooh, let's do the Z Power. We haven't done Bean Z Power yet. Inferno Overdrive. I'm Lorantis. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, never mind. He's got to go before us. Sorry, I like to just get hit by leaps. I really like Fall Time. Now I'm going to go Fire and Thane on him. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it to it, Beans. Here we go. Surround itself with Z Power. Let's do it. Unleash this full force Z move. Oh, yeah. Super Saiyan Beans about to throw down. You can't tell me they didn't get inspiration from Dragon Ball Z in that case. Oh, crap. He didn't die from that. All right. Well, Beans, you could use. Shoot. Like, he, I'm surprised, I'm actually really surprised, how much does, okay, Moo Moo Milk will be good. Uh, because the Super Potion won't fully heal us, we need to start getting some Hyper Potions up in here. But I think we can finally start buying them after we complete this trial, so that'll be good. And, uh, yeah, this is actually the last trial on Akala Island already. It feels like we just got here, which is nuts. But there are some more things to do on Akala Island. Uh, like there were in Melee Melee, after we've completed our last trial. Anyway, let's finish off Fomantis, or Lorantis. Even though you gotta get hit first, Beans, because I guess you're slower than it. But, uh, yeah, let's take out this... Oh, never mind. Using synthesis. How much is that gonna heal for? Uh, hopefully not. Dang, that healed for a lot. Alright, let's see what this does. Dang, synthesis... We're just... We're back at zero. Synthesis healed for so much. Alright, well, hopefully Razor Leaf or whatever he's gonna plan on using next doesn't do a lot of damage to us. Because you can finish it off, right, Beans? This is the one we should be strong against, in theory. Uh, why is he spam- this reminds me of there was- there was a- I talked about last time, there was a girl with a mill tank on Route 8 that I cut from the episode. She was- yes, nice, good job, Beans. She was spamming milk drink to the point where she couldn't use milk drink anymore. It was so annoying. Well, Melee grew to level 24, the rest of the team's- yeah, Eevee's gonna level up from that, level 13. Yes, quick attack, I will learn that. Quick attack's great, and we can get rid of tackle. Yeah, well- yeah, we'll just get rid of Tackle. It's just kind of a more improved Tackle, honestly. And learn Quick Attack. Good job, Eevee. Going to level 14. Leveling up from this. Man, this is not... Oh, nice, Beans. You don't take crap from that Trumbeak, do you? 
All right, let's see what we can do about finishing the Trumbeak off with nice Fire Fang. And nice! That was Beans! Beans was all over that one, man. And hit level 27, which is awesome. Crazy you think we almost have a level 30. It feels like we just started this LP in some instances. Good job, Beans. You know, I'm the best. I beat the Lorantha. I'm the best. And now we can uh, eat some food, eat whatever you made? No. Let's never talk about that again. Well, Tommy, you're strong, huh? You were really able to draw out the flavor of that Pokemon in that battle. Oh, Mallow. You're so lovely. The Totem Pokemon bowed down to you. Uh, yes. Even back at Wella Volcano Park, my vaunted Salazzle didn't even stand a chance. The Wishiwashi, um, I would argue against that, Lana. The Wishiwashi was pretty insane. You've cleared through a college trial. You managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. You know, cooking is hard. Cooking is a real doozy. She does not lie. I have a hard time with it, at least. But anyway, we got a nice Z, pa Z crystal from it. Trial complete! That's exciting. We did it, guys. We uh, cleared through Mallow's trial. We got to hang out with Mallow, which is always just a pleasure because she's so freaking cute, man. Look at her! She's adorable! You go like, grass, Kay? She's so cute. It's so cute, man. Her eyes green, too. I want, I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in Lush Jungle. Here, have some nest balls. So Lush Jungle actually has a really rare chance of, uh, you can actually run into... Looks like Lorantis didn't finish all the food. Have a bite, Kiawai. You too, Lana. If you insist. Lick. Okay. Alright, I had to add one more weird thing in there, didn't you, Lana? The flavor of the rare bone seems to fill my whole ma What? It tastes so good that you might melt. No, wait. Is that my tongue that's melting? It's just so high. It's so... Spicy! I feel like Kiao would be able to handle that. I feel like he would love that. He's all about fire. You headed off to Olivia's for the grand trial? Yeah, I suppose so, but first I want to hang out here just for a little bit. Oh, and Professor Kukui, what's that smell? sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a tasty Mallow special? I heard that you cleared Mallow's trial. Yeah, all right, then I have a present for you. A little TM right there is Smart Strike. Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. And a brand new TM, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, never introduced before. I've never seen anything called Smart Strike. There'll be all kinds of discoveries. Did you stalk me here? There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. I don't want to right now, Professor. I got things to do, places to go. We have been all of Akala's trials. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's grand trial. The trial or the, or the research lab. Catch some Pokemon in grass. Yeah, grass type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah, but just ask Rodom if you need some help. Uh, I should be okay. I should be fully alright. You can access the Dimensional Research Lab by flying back to, uh, Hia, Hia City, if you'd like, but, um, or you can go through, uh, you can go th Are you kidding? Really? The one, the one right there? Okay, and it's a Metapod. All right, well, I'll see you later, Metapod. I don't want to run into you. I don't want to run into a freaking Metapod. That's... That's stupid. Well, Metapods aren't stupid. Well, I guess I could argue that one. But, uh, yeah. So, as I was saying, there are some rare Pokemon like uh, Passimion and uh, Oranguru that can be found uh, in this in this jungle. They've got like a 10% chance. Passimion's a pure fighting type, and he's exclusive to Pokemon Sun. And uh, we've got Oranguru, who's normal and psychic. He's exclusive to Pokemon Moon. Um, really interesting Pokemon. They all have, they each have unique uh, abilities specific to them, um, which is pretty cool and nice. I should. It's so cute, man. Fomantis. So friggin' cute. And nice, Eevee grew to level 15. Hmm. That seems useful, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right, everybody. One of you guys guessed it. The reason we got Eevee was to come here to Lush Jungle. And if I hadn't been cryptic enough, evolve Eevee by the Moss Rock. Time to see what we get. An evolution I'd never used before. But I'm really excited to do it. Oh yeah, it's Leafeon, hailing from Gen 4. Uh, I never use Leafeon, like, ever in any of my playthroughs. Um, but I feel as though when calculating our team's weaknesses, I feel like Leafeon will complement us. Um, I was planning on Sylveon at one point, but um, because of how really good those fairy types are, but I feel honestly that having uh, another weakness to 
to uh, steel is probably not a good idea. Its cellular composition is closer to that of a plant than an animal. It uses photosynthesis to produce energy supply without eating food. It's pretty dang cute, too. Pretty dang cute. And we'll have to just go back to Hee Hee and nickname it. Wants to learn the move Razor Leaf. Uh, yes, of course I want to know Razor Leaf. Now, Leafeon's really interesting in that it is a physical attacker. Let me go ahead and get rid of Helping Hand. Uh, that's, well, mm, probably could have got rid of Baby Doll Eyes. Doesn't matter. But, um... It's a, it's a really strong physical attacker, Grass-type Pokemon. So combining a lot of Leafeon's later moves, like Leaf Blade with Swords Dance, it's pretty freaking formidable. Leafeon is a really good Pokemon if you give it a chance. Sylveon's a very good Pokemon out the gate. Leafeon is a really good Pokemon uh, that develops over time. But anyway, that's m the main reason I wanted to come by to Lush Jungle. Let's hope we don't run to a Metapod again. Nice. But if you want to look around for a past Simeon in Sun, check out the grass, any of the grass patches there. I believe it's like a 5% chance, pretty rare. And uh, Ranguru in Pokemon Moon. Um, so there you have it, guys. I'm going to adventure back down uh, down this road, and we'll be heading to uh, Hia Hia City in the next episode, where we'll be naming our Leafeon. And I have a name that I like uh, quite well that I think I might be going with, and I think you guys will like it too. But anyway, guys, we're going to end things off here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.